All right, guys. Yeah, I'll be showing you guys why the heavy speed conveyor is best conveyor. Confirmed. So, and basically just showing that it's the fastest. So, before you, you see five different dragon glass mines. Well, they're the same, but the conveyors are different. We have five of the more faster reborn proof conveyors. Well, four, and then nuclear conveyors, which are regarded to be one of the fastest, most easily obtainable. We're going to be testing that now, though, against primarily the heavy speed conveyor, but uh, other conveyors as well. And basically, we're going to have 10 of these, 10 of the fast conveyors that go into 10 of the basic conveyors, which will slow it down enough and allow us to see which ores are actually moving faster. Uh, so with a simple click we'll start this so right away you see these zoom right past uh, as you can see the heavy sweet conveyor um are yeah the heavy sweet conveyors are way faster and let's actually time it against the uh, nuclear conveyor see which one arrives faster and see how many seconds it takes for the nuclear to come here one two three about three seconds faster which means which at, at surface might not seem like much but it actually is if your setup can go this 10 conveyors are three seconds faster it's just very helpful compared to nuclear conveyors which are actually slower so if you ever like need to do your morning star loop and you don't want to use cannons you want to use the whole conveyor ramp thing you could use heavy sweet conveyors and probably only you need like four or five of them whereas with nuclear you're gonna need like six of them and interestingly enough we also see that these are about the same speed as nuclear conveyors which I did not know they I'm pretty sure uh, North Pole conveyors. I don't have that many of them actually I kind of do they have the same hitbox as nuclear though so it's like basically a reborn proof nuclear conveyor so you know it's up to you what you want to do like see this again north pole nuclear they arrive basically at the exact same time which is crazy followed by the festive conveyors and then the ultimate conveyors which means that the ultimate conveyors aren't actually all that ultimate so out of these they're the slowest and heavy sweet are the fastest I'm really surprised about these North Pole conveyors, though. They're pretty good. But not as good as the heavies. Plus, hitbox on the heavy sweet conveyor is 2x2 two two compared to all of these other ones. Except for the festive being 4x2. So, that's good. Save some space. I like to put more upgraders right there. Way more useful than the nuclear conveyors, honestly. So, you have no need to use these nuclear conveyors anymore. If you have some North Pole conveyors or the primarily the heavy sweet conveyors, I'm not doing a good job of like keeping this on topic, but yeah. Again, heavy sweet conveyors are the best. Never forget that. Alright. And if you just want to see one more time, we'll do it. Compare this one, the words that fall from here to the words that fall from here. You're gonna see which ones are right faster. <laughs> so yeah. So, unlike how the Wikia says that they're the exact same speed, or almost as fast as nuclears, it's actually <laughs> the opposite, that these are way fast, not way, but they're sizably faster than the nuclear conveyors, so hopefully you think a little differently, you know, you might consider picking up a few of these before they're gone from the shop. I already did a good job at getting 32 of them. I have 10 plates down, so it only shows 22. So, but that cost me like I don't remember how many UC. 40 UC times 32. You could do the math. It was like 1,280, I believe. So, um, not very cheap, but worth it if you really think about it. Versus having to buy these all the time, the size difference, the speed difference. These are just superior. What else can I say? That's really it. And yeah.
I guess I'll be seeing you guys next time if a time were to exist like that. Oh, a blind justice, that's actually pretty weird. I must be the luckiest man alive. What?